Hello everyone, welcome to another segment of Walks At You Wednesday with Tim and Senior with Keller Williams and Jim and Senior with Goose Head Insurance. We're going to stop in at Port Horizon and see what we can find out about this nice little place. All right, everyone, we've got inside and we've got Mark Heath. How's it going, man? It's going pretty good. Welcome to the segment. Thank you, sir. All right, so tell us a little bit about what you got going on here, this well, new business you started up. Well, this here, I was at uh, I was at Souls Harbor for, you know, about three and a half years. And when I originally started this business, my plan was to go hand in hand with Souls Harbor. Uh -huh. So that's why I named it Port Horizon Thrift. You know, because, okay. you know, the Souls Harbor and the port and stuff right. like that. Okay, okay. But uh, myself and the uh, the director of Souls Harbor, we have some different views on things. So he felt like I was going into competition oh. with Souls Harbor. I tried to tell him that you can't compete with Souls Harbor. But, you know, and none of the Souls Harbor, none of the thrift stores here in Waxahachie actually are competing with each other. Uh, uh, Virginia Community Thrift, right. she has given me invaluable information and donated to me. I sure, mean, there, yeah. there's, there's, no, there's no competition between the thrift right, stores. Right, right. So I actually partnered up with another nonprofit organization but kept the name port horizon thrift okay so now i'm able to take donations legally and the uh the the, the nonprofit i partnered with is the uh dr jamal rashid that owns he, he's the founder of the african-american museum and uh oh, Prince Hall, okay uh, african-american historic cemetery you know so well, that's cool and he helps the homeless so portion of my monthly net or gross will be going to that organization that's awesome opportunity to well, I'll tell you what, man, thrift stores, okay, let's just talk about that. First of all, all right. you can't have too many of them, because there's people all over the place that love to go thrift exactly. store shopping, man. They love thrift Her daughter, she's 18 years old, she loves to go thrift store shopping. Wow. She'll go to all of them. Uh -huh. But anyway, so it's cool that you're doing this. How long have you guys been open here? Just well, kinda... well, I'll actually open officially tomorrow. Tomorrow is oh, my official, tomorrow's your official open. Okay. I have to build that wall first, so once that wall is up and it's going to be up by the end of the day, I officially open up. Awesome. That is so That's cool. Right. So you've done a lot of things in your life. What makes you passionate about what you're doing right now here with this with this project? Well, the thing is, before I worked at Souls Harbor, I had never never even thought of running a thrift store. I've always been a businessman, but I've never thought of just selling used merchandise. Right. It's the business model that really that really, you know, turns me on to it because basically all of my merchandise is given to me. Right. I feel like thrift stores like this that just accept donations is a testament to the wastefulness of America because you wouldn't believe what some of the people give away. Would just give me, yeah. you know, and you know, and because I'm partnered with a, a, a nonprofit, I can give them tax receipts, so sure. it's all you know, tax deductible and stuff like that. And I just realized that that is the best business model you could have to have a bunch of merchandise to sell that you didn't have to buy. Well, that is a pretty good deal. I mean, you know, think yeah. about it. You know, it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> It is. But uh, so, what do you like most about doing business here in Waxhatchee? The, people, with the people. The yeah. people. Yeah, I, I love the people. I mean, when I first came here about three and a half years ago, I just met so many people, and I, I became a part of the community. I've had so many people thank me for what I was doing to, for the community, and it's it just you know, just helping people, having people. So many people want to get rid of stuff and don't know where to take it, or don't have anywhere to right. take it. So. I have provided another place for them to bring it to because a lot of times with Souls Harbor we would be completely overloaded with donations. Oh yeah, I've seen it before. Yeah, I've seen it before. Kind of like I am right now. I have well, that that's much. a good problem. To have. <laughs> it is a very good problem. But I think once you get open, people start realizing you're here. You, you're going to exactly. have a nice flow of people coming in. Oh, like I said, exactly. there's so many people that love to go, mm -hmm. and they'll go from one to the next to the next. And, yeah. And the the cool thing is, they don't all have the same stuff. Mm -hmm. You can find different stuff in every one of them. So there's a variety there, right? That's right. We really think what you're doing is really cool, uh, the way you're giving back to the community yes, sir. Uh, through the foundation you're, you're associated with, and that's really awesome. That's kind of why we like to do these videos, is to mm -hmm. highlight locally, pe locally local people mm -hmm. who have locally owned businesses who help the community. And they're ingrained in the community, they love to give back to the community, mm -hmm. and they shine a light on people. And that's what God put us here to do, right? Exactly. That's I mean, that's, that's what it's all about, right? That's right. <laughs> so the more people you can help, in my opinion, is the better. Mm -hmm. So we really appreciate your time, appreciate what you're doing here. Right. Tell everybody the address and your hours of operation you're going to try to keep. Uh, well, um, the address is 301 North College Street. It's called Port Horizon Thrift. And I will be open Monday through Saturday from 9 until 6. Okay, cool. Yep. And, and the website is www.porthorizonthrift.com. So do you prefer if they have like large donations of large items, they call you first maybe and try to set that yeah, up? Yeah, I would, I would, that would probably be better. Probably be better. And I'm also eventually going to have to go to the point where I can actually pick up donations. Okay. A lot of times people have big donations like that. And, and they, they, can't can't, them. they can't bring them to you. Okay, so, cool. But All right. And did we give them the phone number yet? Let's give them the phone number. Oh, the phone number is 214-463-5505. All right. You guys heard it straight from Marquis. Yes, He's sir. the owner here. Uh, 
great little thing they're doing here. We really appreciate what they're doing for the community. Come on down here and check them out. Don't forget, if you're looking to sell or buy a home in Ellis County or 10 other counties, contact Tim and Senior with Keller Williams. For all your insurance needs, I'm with Goosehead Insurance. I can shop your rates around with about 30 different carriers and make sure you got the right product at the right price. Okay, that's very important, guys. Don't forget about our great partners at ellisdownhome.com. They've got a great interactive website with lots of cool stories by local writers. Food, entertainment, travel, leisure, you name it. Really cool stuff. Don't forget, go to elliscountyvideos.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all our past videos and check out what's going on in the future. We've got lots of cool videos there that are all categorized for you in nice little playlists that you can go to. Find all your cool restaurants you want to go to. Things like this, nonprofits, special events, things like that. Don't forget, we're Team Insignia. We are building community and connecting neighbors. Thanks a lot.